um, a, a while ago, um, I published a paper on the emergence of powerful business models for fixed wireless data, and I've just created a small abbreviated version of the same document, which I think explains it a lot better. Um, there's an online version available, but just to go through it quickly, um, is the whole point of providing external antennas, and that's fixed wireless, people that want to provide internet to customers that's in a fixed location, a home or office. And our re reason for that is that if you look at a, a network, the capacity of the LTE base station is limited by spectrum available, so it can only provide whatever it is, 150 megabits per second over a certain part of its um, coverage. It can't do more because that's the spectrum it's got available. So the more people that needs it, um, they will share it effectively. So if you can do it faster, it service yeah. more people. So if you look at the, an example, and that's the best way of doing it, um, and say one can fix with a certain level of service, 50 fixed wireless users on a certain base station, that's quite a typical number, um, then you service them, for example, with 50 gigabytes a month. And with that same base station, you'll be able to serve, and roughly this is a figure, three to five times more users if they use external antennas. Um, even an external antenna can lift your speed by a factor of 22 times. For example, guys closer by has already got a good signal, they may only go twice or three times the speed. So the average, if you look over a certain cellular coverage, is about three to five times. So you'll be able to serve, instead of 50, 200 with that exam, um, same level of service and or data amount that they want to use. So, say we assume we're offering, in other words, a package at 500 Rand per month um, and you wish to serve 200 customers in a certain coverage area. Um, you can either build three more base stations so that you can do 50 per base station if they don't have, if they uh, work with internal routers without external antennas. And uh, if you give a very conservative cost, and that's really low, of uh, 500,000 Rand per base station, uh, you would have to spend about 1.5 million in capex. And those are really low figures. Um, you can also then say, let me allocate some of the capex budget um, to outdoor antennas, including installation. That's about 2,500 Rand per user. So doing that for 200 people, will require only half a million. So in other words, about a third of the cost. That's the one way to look at it. To allocate some of your CapEx, not to build base station and coverage, but to put external antennas on the, um, at the customers and your CapEx actually overall is lower. If you look at it from a revenue perspective, um, you can do it. The operator can supply, say, a maximum of 50 consumers with a certain uh, fixed wireless offering. Um, once again, we work 500 Rand a month. So the annual revenue out of that whole lot would be um, 300,000 per annum, uh, annum, and over three years you would earn um, 900,000 if you could only service 50 users. If you now use outdoor antennas, you would be able to provide that same service to 200 users. Um, and quite simply, you can now get a re revenue of 1.2 million, of course, that's about four times as much as the 300,000 per year. and you will have an additional cost of 500,000 to provide each of them with an installed antenna. And over three years, you'll have an income of 3.1 million, clearly a massive gain after subtracting the cost of installing the antenna, which you now consider as an OPEX um, type of cost. So whether you consider it as OPEX or as CAPEX, you get a massive gain by, and that includes cost of antennas. People used to say to me, yes, but it's very expensive to supply a guy with an external antenna. One should not look at that, you should look at, in other words, what you save on either capex or what, how much more revenue you can earn by doing that. And even taking the external antenna cost into account, in other words, it makes extremely good business sense to provide external antennas, even if it's at the full cost of the operator. In addition, of course, more satisfied customers, faster access, more reliable, and they're going to be hopefully a lot happier customers as well.